The Model T got 25 miles per gallon, and we think 100 years later, we must do better. This is a race for our future. It is a race we must win. Our current use of oil is unsustainable. It has become unbearably costly and environmentally devastating. Yet the automotive industry seems unable to present us with choices, with radical improvements in efficiency. It will take a spark to jumpstart a revolution. The Automotive X Prize is a $10 million prize to teams that can produce production-capable, safe, clean vehicles that can exceed 100 miles per gallon or its energy equivalent. Somewhere in the world, someone will have the solution. When you're looking for that needle in a haystack, the key is to inspire that needle to look for you. The announcement sparks an immediate and powerful worldwide response. We're in. We gotta do this. We're gonna go for this in a big way. Take no prisoners. The goal is set, but the way there is wide open. We can't do it with an ordinary car. We're gonna have to rethink the car first. To meet the challenge, some teams use gasoline, electricity, even compressed air, carbon fiber, ultralight steel and aluminum, even a car made from foam. Modified production cars and specialty vehicles designed from the ground up, built by well-funded companies, tiny startups, and even a one-man team, an engineer who didn't even own his own vehicle. I can't afford one. <laughs> College students from Finland and Washington State, even a passionate team from West Philadelphia High School. In all, 111 teams from 11 nations enter this cutting-edge competition with a radical finish line. The $10 million purse was divided into three classes, a mainstream class that resembled more traditional auto designs and two alternative classes. There was an exciting variety of designs. All vehicles in all categories would have to meet the basic requirements for safety and practicality as judged by the XPRIZE team of automotive experts. Shakedown was the first inspection to separate the interesting projects from practical automobiles. The Shakedown event was very traumatic for us because we weren't ready. It's a heart attack every minute, I think for probably every team. My grandfather used to say, pressure bursts pipes, but pressure can also make diamonds. In some cases, it's burst our pipes, right? There's thousands of little things, from the littlest bolt that fails, and all of a sudden the door opens wide up. And you're like, how did that happen? This is embarrassing. We've done everything with like 15 minutes to spare, and it's just not enough time. Just put a clamp on the thing and hold it back. Shakedown narrows the field and hones the teams for the competition to come. The next phase of elimination takes place on the track, requiring higher efficiency performance and a demonstration of avoidance maneuvers, acceleration, and braking. It's automobile gymnastics. We have to do 60 to zero braking, we have to do zero to 60 acceleration, double lane change through the long course. There's efficiency runs for highway, city, urban. So it's automobile gymnastics. I'm used to drive really fast cars and I'm well trained. With Audi I won five times the Le Mans 24 hours. But after a day of, of racing here, I found myself really exhausted. There's a lot of concentration involved. For this round, every car has to deliver at least 67 MPGE. This new unit of measure, defined by the X Prize and endorsed by Consumers Union, allows comparisons in efficiency regardless of the energy source. Each car's efficiency and performance telemetry is displayed real time on the Automotive X Prize website, giving internet viewers a ringside seat. Meanwhile, educational programs supported by the U.S. Department of Energy, including classroom activity kits developed with the St. Louis Science Center, keep students a part of the action. As knockout continues, many teams find it harder and harder to meet the benchmarks. Unfortunately, we have to eliminate you from the competition. You achieved 51.2. Miles per gallon equivalent. Yeah. So is every team out? Oh well, we had the range, we had the mileage, but uh, in the zero to 60, our transmission just didn't hold up. So we're done. Give her all we got, Captain, and she couldn't take it any longer. Of the original 136 vehicles entered in the competition, only 15 are still in the running. The finalists are an amazing group, 
Nearly every one of these vehicles delivers over 100 MPGE. 121.3. All right. 164.3. 197.1. Okay, I can live with that. What many considered to be virtually impossible just a few short years ago has now proved to be very possible. We couldn't ask for a better way to accelerate the vehicle development on the Aptera than to put it in this competition. We've done a year's worth of development in three months. It is absolutely the reason that we are as far as we are. We've now been third party justified that all of our claims are true. That's gonna help us with fundraising. People didn't know who Zap was and now they do thanks to the X-Prize. That's huge. On the track, the competition continues. Technology is pushed to its limits, and when it fails, millions are at stake. It over-revved and broke. It's the two and a half million dollar, 15,000 RPM moment. In the alternative side-by-side -side category, a final race against the clock pits five cars in a race of speed and endurance which proves too much for some. You're okay? Yep. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Zap is officially done. And the margin of victory is astonishingly small. Two tenths of a second. Differential? Came Differential. down to two tenths of a second. Which way? Damn! Boy, one up. Really tough. You guys can push yeah. to the time. The mainstream category comes down to just one team left in contention. Edison 2's very light car. If they can make their benchmarks, they will win the $5 million purse. It is theirs to win or lose. Great job, guys. Good job out there. <laughs>